moving day at Kowalski Mountain and Philip and I are on our way to go load our cows so that we can head to Kentucky. So let's go load some cows. Hey friends, it's Barbara Sue and Philip at Kowalski Mountain and it's moving day, finally. So come along while we load our cows and get ready to start our big adventure on our way to the homestead at Kowalski Mountain. fortunate that the farmers we bought our cows from were kind enough to keep them on the property until we could move them and today is moving day this farm they are also moving and that's why we're getting our cows and today's the day to go we're gonna get them loaded up and we're gonna head to Kentucky come on girls Eleanor and Tyana are first there's my girls Try to get to the side so that they don't get freaked out by me. She's already got her harness on. Now they travel in carriers, um, but once they settle in, I do let them out and let them relax a little bit. We have a litter box and the whole thing so they can be comfortable on the trip. Now Trouble travels really well and he doesn't have to have a carrier, but I don't trust Finesse and Roz. They have to be locked up when the doors of the truck are open. I am not losing my kitties. Vanessa and Roz are about 10 years old. I've had them since they were very young kittens and I'm just not risking them. So they stay in these carriers to be comfortable and whenever we get out of the truck.
Here's the back of the cargo trailer. It's just part of our load. Our freezers are in there and a lot of our food. I'll get the gates. Thank you for everything, Joy. I appreciate it. Off we go. Tetris. And then, then we can take that one in front. Take the spare one in front. Make a funnel. It's all organic. Nope, this isn't your pit stop. So great to hear. You're going to rope right here. Okay. Now, Phil, do you want to I got it. Oh, just oh, just pinch the bait. Pinch the gate. Pinch the gate. Watch your arm. Watch pinch your arm. the gate. Go take I'll come out. and grab his tail if you pinch the gate. Okay. Okay. Eric, pull that back. I got it. 
Dad, you got this tight? Yep. Okay. Everybody's arms clear? Yep. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Need a, some pork sliders, some some food. We got a whole party There's going on there. A whole bunch of food. Come on, oh gosh! Grab some food. Okay. To go? I know. <laughs> Come grab it to go. Yeah. Stop. Save you a stop. You can come in and pee. I know y'all been on the road. Come on. That's fine. That's fine. We'll do that. <laughs> oh gosh, you guys. Grab a quick little bite and get on the road and eat them. Gonna give you a little update. It's about 4.30 in the morning. We are still traveling. I have no idea how much longer we have left. Everybody's still doing good. That's Prince and Meg. They're doing really well. And it's got quite a bit colder. Now the bees are right up here and the boxes are covered, but we still net our hives just to keep any loose bees contained. So a few more hours, we'll be in Kentucky. Good morning, friends. It's Barbara Sue at Kowalski Mountain and we stopped in Tennessee to get some rest and so we should be hitting the road pretty soon. Um, light is starting to come up. Um, everybody's looking pretty good and we'll be getting on the road before long. It's chilly in Tennessee. It's 55. I'm glad I packed a jacket. Well, Ellie decided to lay down and she needs to get up before we can move on. Everybody else is on their feet. I'm hoping she's I'm hoping she can get up. She's not very motivated to get up. But hopefully she can. Everybody else is on their feet. And that's good. So once Philip is ready, I'm gonna motivate her to get up a little bit more. I get kitty cats Yeah, I okay. So nice. Well Ellie did get up just fine. We wiggled the truck a little bit and she's No, you're not going to be able to get square. But your side is out further than the other. That side. Come on, straight back. That should be good. We get him in there. That should. grass in your drink tonight. They're used to drinking pond water. Come on now. No, they're not. Babe. You only put one thing of grain in here? Two. Fill the water. Alright, we ready? Ready. Finally. Finally. Watch that gate behind you. Come on, Mama. Come on, guys. Come on. Good boy, Prince. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, Ellie. 
Okay, Kayana, you gonna be the mom boss? There you go. Good girl. Good girl, Meg. All right, Ellie. Good job. Kayana. Come here, girl. Meg. Meg. Come here, sweetie. Prince. Come on, mamas. Come on, mamas. Come on. Come on, Kayana. Come here, Mama. Roxy, move. Roxy, come. Roxy, come. She got. She gonna learn a lesson. Come here, Mama. Okay. Hey, buddy. They are in pussy now. You found the other bucket. Pick it up, go that way. Now they found it. She's like, I'm gonna come with you. I come with you. Baby, how are you? Yeah, that's a picture right there. Roxy's fixing the water. Rox? Look out. There we go. Good job. Good girl, Mama. Rox. Good girl. What you got? Good job, oh, look at Pulled out. So once I can see her ear, I can tell her which one is which. I think Meg is closest to me. I think Cayenne is the one there with her head up. There you go, mamas. There you go, mama. gonna be a YouTube star now. You gonna be a YouTube star? It's your debut. Yep, Meg's closest to me. Kiana's the one with her head up. These girls are sisters, about a year apart.
Hey mama. Hey mama. Hey buddy. Hey friend. Well, it's official. My first morning out here at coffee. First day of fall. First livestock on the farm. Uh, other than our bees. Gotta, gotta give them that. Great days ahead. Gotta love it. Wire's hot. You want to test it for me? No. I love you. Thank you for all your hard work. I told you that when we were here the other day. The last couple weeks ago, I told you that. There's a few bees coming out of it, but not many. Well, this might need to just swap. On the ground flat, you're gonna knock that one over. Yeah, this is uh let's grab a hold of that Oops. Oh. Uh -oh. bottom bottom. in front of me. The netting is full of bees. But we did have that closed. 
but bees can chew and they obviously found a way to get out. So they are in the netting, which is so exciting. I'm so looking forward to moving that. I'm not feeling real comfortable right here. Oh my gosh. Okay. doing orientation flight. Oh, the, uh, and I don't feel like any of them are trying to sting. They're all kind of doing that. But they're all trying to reorient themselves. Yes. <laughs> that over there really well where they're just kind of going in and out, in and out, in and out, trying to find where they belong. So when they do leave forage, they know where to come back. Well, friends, we have unloaded all of our animals. The cows have settled in great. We just unloaded those bees and they actually followed me all the way from the apiary over to here. 
I was a little nervous to still take my jacket off, but there's a really nice breeze. We have a lot of work to do to settle into Kowalski Mountain, and we have a lot of projects lined up over the coming years. So if you aren't a subscriber, hit that button and become a part of the Kowalski Mountain family so you can get a front row seat as we build this off-grid homestead full time. Now tonight, Eric and I are heading back to Florida. Um, I will do some wrap up at home and then I will drive another vehicle back up to the homestead. This journey has been so emotional, both in leaving our family and arriving at the homestead. So many mixed emotions and a lot of excitement about seeing dreams come true. If you are dreaming about a homestead, don't give up. Philip bought this property seven years ago. And finally, we are moving to the homestead full time and we are going to make this homesteading dream our full time career. Thanks so much for following us and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Here you go, Mamas. Hey, Ellie. What you think? Should've put that bucket out here in the middle. Should've put the bucket in the middle, not where they're in the corner. Pick it up, go that way. Yeah, she's gonna learn some hard lessons. I don't know. She'll be all right. She's, she's usually pretty good. Yeah, but they may not care for her. That may not be the problem. Well, they are doing okay.
Yeah, they look like they used to dog. Oh, we're fixing to have our first cow patty on the property right now. <laughs> you better bag that up and uh, freeze dry it. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I've never really thought about how they would drink it. Because like a cat, they scoop it like a spoon and pull it. Dogs do the same thing. Prince is liking that grass. 